This is one of the first deliveries of the vaccine to Croydon University Hospital. It's checked over as part of the safety protocols and the first patients will be inoculated tomorrow in what will be the start of the biggest immunisation programme in the country's history. This feels like the beginning of the end, but of course it's a marathon, not a sprint, and it will take many months for us to vaccinate everybody who needs vaccination. Joseph is 90 and his wife Rosemary is 80, and both have been shielding since the COVID-19 nightmare began. They haven't got their appointment yet, but they're hoping they'll be vaccinated later this week. We're very uh, happy that we've got to a point where it's possible mm. Mm. to have uh, a, a vaccine and an easement of the control over your lives. It's a lifeline, isn't it? It's a lifeline for everybody, all the younger people as well. So it's up to us older ones and also people that are vulnerable to really, hopefully, get it quite quickly. <laughs> Invitation for the jab will come from the NHS by text or phone call. And certainly in the beginning, demand is likely to outstrip supply. The vaccine itself requires specialist cold storage at minus 70 degrees. And then there's the issue of getting it into the country. But the government says there'll be no disruption to further deliveries, even in the event of a no-deal Brexit. It is undoubtedly going to be a massive logistical and technical challenge in the weeks and months to come. But with the arrival of the first batch, there's real hope that the end of the pandemic is in sight. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Croydon. Uh, it's, it's just incredible, actually. Obviously, I can't hold them in my hands because they are minus 70 degrees. But to know that they are here and we are amongst the first in the country to actually receive the vaccine and therefore the first in the world is just amazing. I'm so proud. They're stored in the seven, uh, minus 70 freezer and they will be taken out of there when it's appropriate. The, ho the hospital is just going through the final checks to be able to implement the vaccination programme for our high priority groups and we will roll out when it's appropriate. Five five three expiry February twenty one.